Just one week into his tenure as GM, Ron Francis is already making big moves. I'm Antonieta Collins, joined by senior NHL writer for ESPN the Magazine, Craig Custins. Craig, the Hurricanes have fired head coach Kirk Miller. Craig, do you think this is Ron Francis' way of putting his stamp on the team? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think this is a, a pretty direct message that going as long as they have without making the playoffs isn't acceptable. And and Ron Francis, I mean, it's, it, they say it a lot, but it's much easier to uh, to make one change behind the bench than it is to completely revamp a roster. And when you look at the ways that the Carolina Hurricanes are constructed, it's there's guys under long-term contract that it's going to be hard to move. So this this gives something fans uh, in Carolina to be excited about, gives them maybe a, perhaps a new identity. And, and like you said, it gives Ron Francis uh, an opportunity to put his stamp on the team immediately. Carolina hasn't made the playoffs since 2009. Craig, what's gone wrong with the team? Yeah, it's it's been a number of things. I mean, everything from injuries to, to not getting the goaltending that they wanted. I mean, you look at the, the long-term deal they gave Cam Ward in goal, and he's had a real hard time living up to that and staying staying on the ice and staying healthy. And, and they've got a little bit of underperformance from the from the stalls and Eric and Jordan at times. And, and, you know, I look at that Jordan stall trade, and they had high hopes for him in Carolina and just, so far, he hasn't lived up to it. So whoever they bring in, that's going to be the first order of business is getting the big-name players in Carolina to live up to the expectation. And are there any names being thrown around as the next head coach? Yeah, you know, it, it's early in the process. But when you look at the way the Carolina Hurricanes have always done things, they, they, they tend to look in-house a lot or, or bring in former Hurricanes, even with, you know, with the GM job there and, and who they brought in as the assistant GM. And so you wonder if that's going to be the case. Do so you look at who Ron Francis has has ties to in the past, perhaps a guy like Al Samuelson, uh, you know, a name like Ron Wilson, if, if they're looking for a kind of a big name, a guy with experience that can come in there and, and turn things around, I think Ron Wilson would be an interesting fit for Carolina. And, of course, you have you have Barry Trott fired uh, out of Nashville, who's going to be on every top of every single coaching list this summer. So there's certainly some interesting options for the Hurricanes. Craig Custins with the insight. Once again, the Hurricanes have fired Coach Kirk Miller. Carolina finished 13th in the 16-team East this season. I'm Antonita Collins with your ESPN Headline.